Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Today I've got a quick video I'm going to show you how you can uh, stick to the classic editor when using WordPress. Since WordPress 5 came out, uh, the new Gutenberg block editor has been installed and a lot of people are still sort of fumbling to try and get their head around what's going on and would like to be able to stick to the classic WordPress editor. So there's a few ways that you can stick with the classic editor um, either for now or permanently. Um, first of all, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to head into posts and I'm going to open up an old post which was built using the classic editor. Now you see, first of all, if we got we got this block here, we're still using the block editor, but if I click on here, it's actually a classic block. You can see it's actually before I clicked on it had a had the name classic on it. And I can actually go ahead and edit this using the same classic editor with the same options as before. And I can add media here instead of the button above. But essentially it is the same editor as before using the classic block. But what happens if you want to start a new post and you want to use the classic editor for that? So this is the first way you can do it, because there's more than one way of doing this, is I can go to new at the top here, new post for a blog post. I'm going to leave the page. And I've got the Divi installed here, but I'm going to stick with the default editor for now. I'm just going to call this test post. And you see here we've got our normal block. But instead of using this, what I can do instead is actually go up the top here to add a block or down here to the plus button, add, and if I type in classic, I can actually insert a classic block. So now, as you can see here, it says classic. If I click on that, I now get the classic block and I can use that as if I were using the classic editor. So that means you can have several classic editor blocks if you wanted to and actually uh, yeah, fill out your post that way. But another way you can actually do it is not to use this editor at all, but to reinstall the classic editor using a plugin built by WordPress for this exact reason. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new over here. I'm going to leave the page again. You can see it's already written up here, classic editor. So you can just simply search for classic editor if you want. So you can type in classic editor if for some reason it's not there. You see by WordPress contributors, we're going to install that classic editor. And activate it. Now this doesn't necessarily remove Glutenberg altogether. It gives you the option. So if I go in here into settings, I think it's under general. And sorry, it's not here. It's under writing. Under settings, under writing, we have the option here, default editor for all users is classic or block. And you can actually allow users to switch edits. So if I turn that on, you can go in and um, switch between the editors. So I'm going to turn that on. Save changes. So you can see here, the default editor is the classic editor, and we can allow users to switch between editors by turning that on and saving it. So now if I go back into my posts, open up my test post straight away you can see we've got the default editor loading up so that's working so if I was creating a new post straight away we would get this classic editor and then go back to using WordPress the way that we're used to using it so there's actually also an option down the bottom here to switch to the block editor so for some reason you want to experiment or maybe you just have there's some post you want to use the block editor for and not others I can get in here and switch to the block editor and type away. And of course, once again, I can switch back here somewhere. And again, under editor. So if I go up the top to document and down to editor, I can switch to classic. So you can see it's that easy to use the classic editor. So you're basically set to go. So this is a this is just a nice, quick, easy way for you to be able to use classic, but you can still have that option to go to block if you do want to learn it and eventually get used to it. So um, nice and easy. And uh, I hope you find find that video useful. If you do and you want to see more videos like this with WordPress, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also check out some of the other videos I've got. I've got a lot of WordPress and social media tutorials on there. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day and um, we'll see you next time.